So let's have a quick talk about what's happening on the Orange River. Uh, currently the Vaal Dam is down to 102% and the Bloemhof Dam is down to 104% and the flow rates are dropping from those dams. Bloemhof Dam is still uh, letting out 1,100 cubics but the inflow is lower so it will uh, the dam level is dropping and the flow rate is going to drop eventually. The Orange River has dropped as well, inflow into the dams are lower uh, and the Kloof is still letting out now 900 cubic, so in total we are still at 2000 cubic, which is still enough for a spectacular Grabis for those uh, who want to go to Grabis. But it means that there is no imminent danger of bigger floods than what we've had till now. So it's all reasonable and manageable, depending on future rainfall, of course. Now, I'm at Koga Dam with my dad, we had to drive in and have a quick look at the dam. Koga Dam supplies the Gamtoos Valley and uh, Port Elizabeth with water. And uh, the dam is currently in a six year drought. We are in the Gamtoos Valley. Beyond these orchards, you will see the Gamtoos River. But even though agriculture is the lifeblood of this uh, valley, the Gamtoos River is not the primary source of irrigation water for the valley. The Gamtoos River is a large river but a very short river. It consists of two main rivers. The Groot River that has the catchment area of the Karoo. A very large catchment area but very infrequent rains. And that's the reddish water that you will see from recent rains. But the water is also brackish, so not ideal for irrigation. Then you have the Koga River, which is the Koga Dam, which is uh, the reason for our visit here. The dam was built in the Koga River because the water is sweet water, as it's called. Very good for irrigation. Uh, but a much smaller catchment area. The catchment area is the mountains, <coughs> is behind the Chichikama Mountains. And um, then the dam has been now in about a six year drought. Uh, during that time there was one year where the level raised to about 50% but most of the time it's been below 40% for the past six years. And it's dropped in 2021 down to about 4%, I think just under 4% when I did the last video. Uh, the dam is currently at 17.6, so it started, it started dropping again from 17.7. Agriculture has had to adapt to those situations. And that adaption has been done by moving the irrigation to a level of control that is, unless you see it, and I'll, I'll give you some numbers to explain it, if you look at the irrigation, just move the camera. what's happening here is drip irrigation. They've moved on from flood irrigation, um, sprayers, micros to drip ir irrigation. And this drip irrigation, to explain it, that dripper releases exactly 0 0.6 liters per hour. That's 600 milliliters per hour. Divide by 60, that gives you 10 milliliters per minute. That's two teaspoons per minute that it drops. And it gives exactly that, it's regulated. So there's five drippers to a tree, spaced around the tree to give it enough water. So five, it's 10 milliliters per minute times five, 15 milliliters. So 15 milliliters, that's a double shot of whiskey or a it's tiny. Each tree gets that exactly. And then the water levels are monitored by uh, probes that communicate to computers that gives uh, a level of control so that water can be used to the, to the absolute optimal level. Each tree gets just what it needs to still produce a harvest. Here, boys.
Dat is een buis waar jy die, die uh, vloeistof van onder die dripperzone krijg. Wat jy kan kyk of jou soute wat jy as kunstmis boogje nie jou grond verbrak nie. So that's to see that you're not giving too little water which will damage the tree in the end. Ja. This is to control uh, the amount of water that you give to the tree. You can come and measure it by hand to see if all your electronic controls is working like it okay. should. Okay, so it's a monitoring, yeah. This is the probe. So see you on the next one. Cheers. Uh, is it Black Eagle? As a kid I've abseiled down here. Don't tell, don't tell anyone. I've spent a lot of time here as a kid. Uh, Black Eagles. 